What's going on, bottom line viewers? It's Mitch back here with another NFL Best Bets video for week 18 of the 2021 NFL season. You know what that means? The final week of this NFL regular season is here. One more week to load up on some bets before the NFL playoffs. And I'm going to help you do that with some parlays that I think can win in week 18. But before I give you my favorite parlays for this week, make sure that you do Gronk spike that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more BLV just like this. Also get in that comment section below and let me know your parlay that you think is a big winner this week. And remember, with parlays, bet responsibly. Don't put all your money on these parlays because they are parlays for a reason. They're longer shots to win. But like I always say, when they hit, there's not a better feeling. So let's kick it off with the money line parlay this week. I have a five team parlay here. And week 18 is interesting because you're trying to weigh the motivation of teams to win games, to make the playoffs on top of teams that may not be playing all their players, resting players, and then on top of other teams that may have already kind of quit the season entirely. So with this parlay, we have kind of a mix of everything, starting with the Baltimore Ravens versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. I have the Ravens in this money line parlay. I believe the Ravens are a team that just always give their best effort. And when I look at this game, I think it's warranted to even lay the number with the Ravens, given what happened with the Steelers last week. It almost felt like the finale for the Steelers and their season and the finale of the career of Ben Roethlisberger. They said goodbye to Ben Roethlisberger at Heinz Field. They won an emotional football game on Monday Night Football in front of the world versus the Cleveland Browns. This game is in Baltimore. It is versus the rival of Ben Roethlisberger, but what better way for the Ravens to send off Big Ben than have Terrell Suggs be honored at halftime and then just beat him badly? And that's what I believe could happen in this game. The Steelers don't match up particularly well with the Ravens. I feel that the Ravens are going to get after Ben. It's going to be trouble to run the ball. And I just don't see the Steelers scoring very many points here. And for whatever reason, John Harbaugh always has his teams in these situations play well and play hard. You know, look at the guy's preseason record, for example. I like the Ravens in this spot, so add them to the money line parlay. The second team is the Washington football team over the New York Giants. Again, guys, I don't have to say much here. The Giants are a disaster. Personally, they're the worst team in the NFC at this moment, at the end of the year. They're starting Jake Fromm, who can barely throw the ball past 10 yards. They have a terrible offensive line playing a pretty good pass rush in Washington. And Joe Judge and the way that he can motivate players. I just don't see Joe Judge, a guy that could be on his way out, having these players playing their best game of the season because that's what it's going to take. The Giants are playing terrible. They can barely score over 10 points consistently. Ron Rivera last week had these players playing hard. They barely lost to the Philadelphia Eagles only by four points versus a pretty good team that's made the playoffs. And Washington has the better quarterback. Washington has the better pass rush, the better offensive line. Washington has probably the more consistent running game. There's just no real area where the Giants are better. And I love the Washington coaching staff to finish the season with a victory because I think they believe that they're going in the right direction. So I like Washington here as the second part of the parlay. The third team is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're playing the Carolina Panthers. Three times Tom Brady has played Matt Rule's Panthers every single time they have covered, every single time they've won in a blowout. This game matters for the Bucs. They will be playing all their players because they have the opportunity for the number two seed and they don't want to let that number three seed slip. On top of that, Tom Brady is a psycho. Tom Brady wants to get his reps with Brashad Perryman and company, these new receivers that are not Antonio Brown. I think that happens and that happens big. Then we've got the New England Patriots. They're going to be playing because Bill Belichick always plays his players in the last week of the season. They want revenge from week one in a game that Damian Harris fumbled away on the last drive of the game. They want to enter the playoffs with momentum. And they have an opportunity to not only win the division if the Bills lose, but also potentially move up in seeding. 
Regardless, though, they want to remain that fifth seed, I believe, to have the easiest possible matchup in the AFC playoffs. So the Patriots, I think, are a great bet facing a Tua, who just looked horrendous versus the Titans. I think Belichick causes a couple turnovers, and the defense wins that game. And my fifth and final part of the Moneyline Parlay is the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings in meaningless games with Kirk Cousins are always a good bet because Kirk Cousins is phenomenal in games that mean nothing. It's just a matter of fact. He's a good quarterback, and I think he's enough to beat Andy Dalton in this spot at home. Plus, the Vikings with Mike Zimmer, they might have reason to fight for their coach who's been very good for them over the years. And Matt Nagy, I think the opposite could be true here for the Chicago Bears. Now, I'm guessing with the motivations of these two teams, but overall, I just feel like the Vikings are the better team with the more explosive offense and more to beat you with, especially with Andy Dalton starting and not Justin Fields. So I've got the money line parlay of the Ravens, Washington, Tampa, New England, and the Vikings. The second parlay is the team total parlay, which was a theme that I brought to the table last week. This week, we're continuing the trend because last week, we nearly hit a massive parlay and only missed on one of the teams, which was the New York Jets. This time, we're going to go with just three team totals here. And I like all of them. I don't just like them. I love them. And I'd honestly bet these individually on top of the parlay. But here we go. We've got the Denver Broncos under 17. I struggled to see them scoring 10 points in this game versus the Kansas City Chiefs. They traditionally struggle to score on Steve Spagnuolo's unit. Just look at the last game. Plus, it's Drew Locke, who I don't even think is a backup in this league right now. I mean, he is horrific. Then we've got the second part of the parlay, which is the Houston Texans under 16 and a half versus the Titans. The Titans defense looks really good. Very good at stuffing the run. I think the Texans have issues moving the ball in this game. I think the Texans are probably ready to move on to the offseason and the Titans are trying to clinch that number one seed. The run defense of the Titans does a good job forcing Davis Mills into uncomfortable spots and getting them under 16 and a half. Another team that I think Probably scores 13-14, but 17 seems like a bit too much to me. And then the third part of the parlay, I mean, just take the Giants under. Like, no matter what it is, no matter who's playing. At this point, like, it is automatic right now. The Giants can barely score 10 points. Their team total this week is 15 and a half. What makes you think they're going to score 16 or 17 points in this game? What makes you think that? I just can't see it. Washington isn't a bad defense by any means. This is a divisional opponent. They've played already. This is obviously familiarity, which usually trends towards lower scoring games. The team total here is 15 and a half, and the total is already super low. I think Washington wins. I think Washington covers. Washington blows them out, and I don't think the Giants get near this team total. So those are the three team totals. Put them together in a parlay, and I think you have yourself a winner. The next parlay is a two-team underdog money line parlay. And this is always the most difficult because you're picking teams that aren't supposed to win. Especially in week 18, it's difficult to find underdogs that actually are going to try to win. So this week, I'm gonna go with two teams that I think have a fairly good chance of pulling off the upset. One is a popular one, the San Francisco 49ers over the LA Rams. The 49ers win and get in the playoffs. It's as simple as that. Kyle Shanahan has won His last five games over Sean McVay and the LA Rams. The 49ers dominate this rivalry. Can they sweep them again? Well, their playoff lives depend on it. Now, it might not depend on it, depending on if the Atlanta Falcons can get the job done. But I don't think the Niners really care regardless. I think they're going to fight to win the game. Now, the Atlanta Falcons, I think, have an opportunity here to upset their rival and knock them square out of the playoffs. I think that's what could happen here. I think Atlanta is the team with the better quarterback, the team that's at home, and the team that won the first game. I know that the Saints have the opportunity to make the playoffs, but I think Atlanta might be better just as a team. So I'm going to take the underdog here, the Atlanta Falcons, pair them with the 49ers, and that's your underdog parlay for the week. Let's finish it off with the teaser options for week 18, starting with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady. Tease them down from eight to two. All they got to do is win by a field goal over Sam Darnold. I think they can do that. 
The second option is the New England Patriots. I think six and a half might be a bit too rich, especially in a game that has a total of 40, which is pretty low. So let's tease down the Patriots. I think they will win, but maybe not by seven. So let's make it half a point. And now they only got to just win the game by a point. The third option is the Washington football team to win by one point instead of seven. I like that one as well. Anytime you can tease a team down that you really believe is going to win the game under a field goal, I always like that avenue. And then the fourth and final one is with those Atlanta Falcons. You can tease them up to nine and a half, ten, maybe even ten and a half. That would be ideal depending on where you bet. But those are the four teaser options. You could maybe even put them all together for a teaser this week. But let me know in the comment section below your favorite parlay, your favorite pick in this video or your favorite pick in general. And also let me know any questions you have for me. You can check me out on Patreon if you want all my bets every single week. Link is in the description. It's Mitch. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Good luck this week. Peace.